Hello everybody, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca and I'm so glad that you're here. We're gonna be making a Christmas fun fold card. It looks like a complicated fun fold, but I promise it is so easy. I'm gonna break it down into simple steps, be very easy to do. I've got all the measurements for you over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com, along with the supply list, because I want you to be able to make this on your own at home. I've got lots of tips to share with you along the way. Um, you, if you'd like to purchase the supplies, of course, I'd love for you to choose me as your demonstrator when you are checking out. Um, and I also have a shopper rewards program so that when you purchase through me using my host code, you can accrue points towards a free stamp set. There are, um, there's information for that on my website as well. All right, let's get started. <music> So here's a closer look just so you can see the detail. We're going to emboss these four panels here. It opens up to just this beautiful image and it also stands up. <laughs> There's going to be some photos on my website to show you how pretty that is since all you see is from the top down. So for this particular card, I'm going to be using Christmas season and Christmas to remember. Um, but you can you can put anything you want in these uh, positions here, any stamp set. Now I'm using the wintry 3D embossing folder that has these gorgeous pine leaves. This comes in a, pa a two pack of embossing folders. So one has snowflakes, great for the holidays, that's for sure. And then you only need three colors of ink. All right, so the cutting of this fun fold card is a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you how you're gonna cut it at five and a half by 11. And then you're left over with this strip, which we're gonna use, so set that aside. And then you're gonna rotate it to do your scoring. And I'm gonna get my print and make project sheet out because I've got all the scoring measurements here. This is also on my website, but for my email subscribers, they'll get this in their email. And if you would like to sign up for that, there's a link down below. So we're gonna score this at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter and seven. And you can see this paper trimmer is so awesome. Like an absolute essential for card making. You can cut and score all on the same, uh, <laughs> same tool and it's only 25 bucks. Put it on your Christmas uh, wish list if that is, if you don't have one of these. Now we're just going to go ahead and pre-fold all of these score lines, kind of back and forth like an accordion. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, burnish all these edges, just making them nice and tight. The I'm using the Stampin' Up! cardstock, which is so nice and thick, which makes it nice and quality. But you definitely want to um, score them down with a bone folder to get a better crease. Well, unfortunately, my camera turned off when I was doing this part, so I am going to reenact this. This is a live reenactment here. So with your strip of paper, you are going to cut this at six and then you're going to score it at three. So getting your cutting blade out of the way, you're gonna score it at three. So um, this piece is three by six, and when you use it as a scrap from cutting here, it's actually gonna be a little wider than three, but it doesn't really matter. You can leave it just like that. You're just creating that insert that goes right there. All right, now we're going to emboss our four uh, strips that go on the panels of that card. Now for this, if you don't have an embossing folder, you could stamp on these. You could also use designer series paper, which would be beautiful, but I'm going to choose to emboss mine. Um, on your embossing folder, there is a line and that is used for lining up your um, paper right on that line so that your image will be nice and straight. If that matters to you, sometimes the embossing folder, it doesn't really matter. Now what I'm going to do is, because this is a 3D embossing folder, I'm going to um, grab this plate and it's going to tell me what my sandwich should be. So I need my number one plate down first, then my embossing folder with the rounded hinge edge going through the machine this way, and then this on top, and then we'll run it right through. Check this out. This is my favorite, favorite part. Isn't that so, so awesome? All right, we'll set these aside and then we'll do some stamping. So this is the focal sentiment that I'm going to use from that Christmas to Remember stamp set. I love all the sentiments in that set. And we're going to just stamp this right in the center here. 
And then because we've used the, um, we've got these pine boughs, I really want to do it up with the pine boughs in my stamping. So we're going to just do like this. Hmm, let's see. Nah, I think I want to put some berries there. Now, when you're lining up these berries, they go right with this stem in a line. One, two, three. Isn't that so beautiful? Now, we'll create an image for here. We're going to, the uh, Christmas season stamp set comes with this awesome, gorgeous pine cone. I'm actually going to stamp it off and then stamp it on my paper. And then it comes with an insert. This one, I'm going to stamp it full strength. Oh, I got some on me here. And you're just going to line it up. It's called a two-step stamp. There. Oh, my goodness. I just, I love, I love stamping. I'm sorry. I love, <laughs> we're going to just throw some more pine boughs here. And we'll do a little one along the bottom. Like that. And let's do some more berries. I'm actually going to do my stems first this time. Here and here. And then we'll line up our berries with those stems. I've used this stamp set so many times. If you go through my YouTube channel or my uh, website, and actually I'll put a little link up here to more projects for this stamp set. It's so versatile. One thing I love, it has these little, little dots so that you can just kind of spray color around. All right, now we just need to stamp our inside. We're going to use a Holly Jolly Christmas. Now, when you're stamping this, you kind of want to make sure it's kind of a little bit down far because when we put on this centerpiece, we want it to cover up the inside. All right, now we're just going to glue all these pieces. We're going to glue this one in first. All right, after you have all your panels on, you're gonna grab your little uh, center insert part that's gonna go here, and you're gonna center up your main focal point. Now, I've got another example to show you where I used a different color scheme. I mean, think of all the different color schemes you could use for this. I've got a different color scheme, and I did something different on the center here where I actually die cut this, and I did not use these squares. So I'm gonna give you the measurements for both of that over on my website both of those options. Oh, I kind of got that a little twisted. Let's see if I can quickly get this off. Not really. Okay. It's just going to have to be a little off. Let's see how much this bothers me. Oh, well, it's not too bad. Okay. Then what we're going to do is glue this here. And you know what else I think would be so cool here? What if you had a photo, like a family photo that you could cut in a square and fit right here? Or if your family photo isn't square, you could definitely make this uh, insert to the dimensions that you that you need for your photo. I think that would be so cool. Okay, now there's a trick to gluing this on. So you want to center this over your image on the inside. And we're going to open this up. Actually, before I do that, let me show you that what you're doing is for this insert, you're actually sandwiching it like this, not in between. You're not gonna in between sandwich it. You're gonna actually close the accordion and have this over it like that. So you're gonna center it up first and then you're gonna open it and we're gonna put glue just right here. Hold that in place for a minute and then we're gonna open this whole thing and do the same thing on this side placing glue here and then we're going to fold it but we're also going to twist it and make sure like mine was a little bit not square so I had to twist it uh oh hold still will ya oh no it's not it's not straight okay there Green glue is my favorite because for some reason I cannot do it straight. I watch demonstrators online and they use like the Stampin' Seal Plus. I can't trust myself with that. 
Okay, so this is gorgeous just like this, but if you want to add just a little extra something special, you can add these um, iridescent rhinestones or, uh, boy, Stampin' Up! has all kinds of um, embellishments that you can throw on here really easily. Some little red ones would be cute. I like these because they're in three different sizes. I just wanted to show you one more variation I made. This one, I just wanted white on white. I thought that looked so pretty, just very simple. And um, this is great. If you don't have all those colors of paper, just do white on white, especially for the holidays. So elegant. Oh, one more thing. I cut this out and put it, uh, st stood it up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And you can see that I stamped directly on that insert. I did not use the squares. Hey, let me know in a comment if you would like me to continue to do more fun fold cards. I sure like to do them. Um, you can also give me a thumbs up if you like this video and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.